Hello, we're back! Summer hiatus is over. Well, technically I'm still on summer hiatus, but... I'm pre-reviewing a few things, so I'll have a few things in my queue lined up, so, you know... I don't have to work too hard in September. Um, anyway, I'll shut up now. Gotta get to the beer. And this is something new to the NSLC. There's a couple new things to the NSLC. And we'll be rolling them out in short order here this month. Um, this is Bone Shaker Unfiltered India Pale Ale from Amsterdam Brewing out of Toronto. All right. I got to say, that is one of the coolest labels I've ever seen on a bottle. I quite like that. It's quite attractive. Got a little skeleton driving an old-timey kind of bicycle. Uh, it's a strong beer, 7.1% alcohol by volume. No fucking kidding. Uh, that's almost basically double IPA territory. Apparently, um, 65 IBU, if you give a shit about that. Um, it says, Bone Shaker IPA, Indy Pale Ale is brewed using copious quantities of hops that are continuously added during a 90-minute boil. Hmm. Uh, I don't need to know the flavors. Seven different malts blended in here. Naturally carbonated, unfiltered. I like to hear those things. Apparently the hops in this is all am Amarillo. Which is a very good hop for both bittering and flavor. Uh, from what I understand, Amarillo, if I remember correctly, is very citrus heavy. So, let's see what we think. The Bone Shaker. Hmm. All right. Nice. She's definitely unfiltered. I see a little bit through there, but she's a deep amber approaching orange, especially where the light's coming through here. A little bit of a white head there. Off white head, I guess. Let's go right through Roma. Oh, wow. <sighs> Very juicy smelling. Fresh, juicy. Big time orange peel. Very, no, not orange peel. Peel. Um, the actual inside of the orange, the actual fruit itself. Take a little orange slice and squeeze it till it punctures and juice runs out. This a little bit of grapefruit in the back as well, and I'm getting a teeniest bit of the caramel malt. Not a lot. Mm, smells really good. It actually does smell a bit different from a lot of these fruity, citrusy um, uh, hot bombs. Um, usually when you're getting this sort of citrusy uh, fruit smell from hops, you're usually getting uh, strictly grapefruit or um, tangerines or mangoes, pineapple, things of that nature. This one's much more focused on like just your standard orange with little hints of grapefruit so it's a bit distinct and different from the uh, usual cavalcade of IPAs that come our way alright so we'll go right to the taste cheers mmm Nice. Tastes a little different too. Um, very hoppy, which is to be expected. Getting a little bit of orange up front. Again, like biting into a slice of orange. Um, 
grapefruit all around the sides of the thing as it's going down the mouth. Um, very big, um, metallic, almost earthy uh, bite to it in the end with the hops. And a little bit of a grapefruit fade on the back as well. Um, it is fairly malty too. I, I wouldn't say it's particularly full-bodied. Um, it's roughly medium-bodied, I guess. Maybe a little lower, lower medium body. Mm, really good though. It's it's got that juicy quality to it as well when you're drinking it. It tastes real fresh. Um, it's not overly sweet or anything, uh, very much f more focused on bitterness and uh, earthiness. <sighs> not overly complex or anything like that. Um, in fact, the, the, the strength of the bitterness and stuff um, does make it taste, you know, just like a standard IPA. Like I was saying, with the 7.1%, one would be led to think that maybe this is more of a double IPA, but um, it definitely drinks like a more of a, you know, your standard good strength, solid North American IPA. It's definitely got a bit of a different taste profile than a lot of IPAs on the citrus side of things usually do. Um, the 7.1% alcohol, I'm not feeling it. Um, drinks very, very well. Like, I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm very much used to uh, hops. Uh, I've grown to appreciate IPAs quite a bit, especially really great ones. Um, and this is really good. Really damn solid, actually. Um, actually above solid. Um, wow. I quite like it. I hope this sticks around. I hope this is um, something that's going to be in the SLC for a while, because I'm probably going to buy a few six-packs of this. Uh, Bone Shaker from Amsterdam Brewing. Or the Amsterdam Brewery, I guess. Um, I'm going to go 375 out of 5. This is a really good... Uh, well, I don't know if I'd say go-to. Uh, I don't think you can really quite session this. This is not something you'd probably drink all day. Uh, at 7.1%, you'd be pretty fucked up before your day ends, i, I got to say. so. But it's a good one to have like two or three on hand. For, for a little bit of fun. So, um, yeah, Bone Shaker. 3.75 out of 5. Very, very good. This might be the best thing I've had from... Well, no, wait, Amsterdam. What did I have from... Um, Ewert sent me. I think it was the Tempest. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I think that's the best I've had from them so far. But uh, this is a close second. All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.